Hello everybody, welcome to my Season 2 review of Star Wars Rebels. So what happened on Rebels this season? We had the Rebels on the run from the Empire, led by Darth Vader and his Inquisitors. So they are on the run, going from place to place to recruit more allies, to get supplies, and they eventually do settle on a remote planet to set up a base. So, that is basically what sums up the entirety of Season 2 of Rebels. Going into some of my favorite episodes, I really enjoyed the opening movie-esque uh, episode of Siege of Lothal, where we do find out why the Rebels have to leave Lothal eventually, which we know they were on pretty much 95% um, on Lothal during Season 1. Next up, we have Shroud of Darkness, where we explore more of the ethereal kind of ways of a force as Ahsoka, Ezra, and Kanan all go through some visions on the temple in Lothal. Finally, Twilight of the Apprentice, what we were all waiting for, Ahsoka versus Darth Vader. So those were some of my favorite episodes of the season. Now, as much as I like those, there were definitely some low parts in the season, uh, naming, first of all, the Brothers of Broken Horn, which brought us back another familiar face, Hondo, along with somebody named As Morgan, which we know was in that Lando episode last last week. So there's a trend here. Whenever As Morgan is in the show, he just takes it down a notch. And uh, so that was one. Blood Sisters, where we see Sabine has a younger friend. Um, Katsu is also a bounty hunter that just didn't really do anything with the plot in that episode really too much. And finally, the mystery of Chopper Base. Uh, the rebels were basically just killing a bunch of spiders and, you know, just talking about the ongoing doom that's about to present themselves to them um, with the whole duel between Darth Vader and, and, and Ahsoka and the Sith Temple and all that stuff. So, getting into the positives of this season, first of all, we got off Lothal and Explorer because that was one of my criticisms of Season 1 is we were constantly on the same planet and it just got really old seeing the same landmarks constantly. Also, we had really, really big villains returning. Vader and Maul both make appearances in the show and the great thing about Vader is they don't, they don't make his appearance like in every episode, they, they show that he only appears in times where he absolutely needs to, which is namely to hunt down Ahsoka, his prior apprentice. And Maul, he makes an appearance in the last episode. I don't want to spoil anything about that, so you have to watch it for yourself. Also, we had older characters from the Clone Wars, namely, well, Ahsoka, she was in the last episode of Season 1, but we see her a lot more prominently fighting and whatnot in Season 2. We also have one of my favorite characters, Captain Rex. If you're a fan of the Clone Wars, you are equally as excited as I am to see him back in action. Also, we had other characters, such as mentioned before, Hondo, plus Princess Leia, and Sham Shindula. Uh, this brings together the galaxy more. So we're taking bits from, you know, the novels such as um, Lords of the Sith that ha Harrison Dula's father, Sham, was in. Of course, we have Princess Leia, who is only about 15, 16 at the time. Um, and we see her helping out the, the, the fledgling rebellion at that point, which is pretty neat. And Hondo, you know, he's, he's just always there for the comic relief, mostly. So it's nice seeing what he's been up to. Also, in this season, we have more of a fleshing out of the side characters. All these characters get their own pretty much episode, you know, Zeb and Callus get this great survival story, Hera gets this story about how she is such a great pilot, piloting uh, the, the B-Wing, Sabine with with her um, Mandalorian, uh, talking about the Mandalorian heritage of her, being from the Clan Vizsla, we even get a Chopper-centric episode, which going into it, I was like, this can't be good. And it surprised the heck out of me. I really enjoyed the Chopper-centric episode. Another great thing about the season was there's truths. There, basically, Ahsoka says, actually, in the last episode, there are sometimes truth and legends. So I loved how they bring it back some of these legends things, such as the KOTOR ships. Also, we explore different aspects of Star Wars, mainly like the Force. So we have in the one episode, Legends of the Slot, we had... You know, these creatures that weren't 
you know, Sith or Jedi, but they still refer to the Force as some other kind of entity, and they were able to use that themselves. As mentioned before, we have Mandalorians. Um, we have uh, Fen Rar, or yeah, I think that's his name. Um, Mandalorian on on Concord Dawn, which is a pretty cool episode. Um, and we have the hyperspace travel. We explore how that was uh, basically made with the uh, space whales. So that was that was pretty neat. And all together, just seeing the rebel forces growing through these episodes is pretty neat. You know, it started out with just a couple blockade runners. Now the rebels have some stolen uh, corvettes, the ones from Coat that looks like were from Kotor, um, and the Imperial carrier. So they are definitely starting to become a force to be reckoned with. As much as I like those things in the uh, episodes this season, I had some negatives as well. They are always falling into the trope of justifying the episode's purpose by the Rebels always needing to get more supplies. Oh, this episode, we need to get more supplies, so we have to go to this abandoned station, and another one, we have to go to this mining place. You know, it's just like, you know, they gotta come up with some more plot devices to get these characters going around, I think. Another thing is, they keep focusing on Ezra using the Force Common ability on creatures way too much. It's like, okay, after the first three times I can understand that this kid's really getting powerful in the force with taming creatures. Another thing about these episodes is some of them just spun the wheels too much. Like, we're not really getting anywhere in the overall plot. Like, and namely the Ketsu with Sabine episode, a Mystery Chopper base episode, really just killing a bunch of creatures the whole episode. Nothing too big on that front. You know, I just, I just wish there was more um, substance to some of these episodes. And overall, the story is kind of fragmented. Like, you know, I think it's mainly because the first season was only 13 episodes, so they were really able to hone in on the um, purpose of what the season was about. But now they expanded 22 episodes. You can kind of see where it's like, um, we just have to fill in the quota, kind of, for just filling out episodes. In that case, we'll just have this standalone kind of episode, which some of them just really didn't work out for me. And finally, the episode placement, um, some of these episodes, and I had a big problem with this in the later half of the season when we had a great episode like Shroud of Darkness, which was really foreshadowing this epic confrontation at the place on uh, the, the Sith Temple on Malachor. But then they take two episodes between uh, after that between the finale to go to Chopper Base and just kind of like, we could have used that episode a little bit earlier in the season because then it just kind of turned down the hype for me a little bit. But that is my thoughts on Season 2 of Rebels. I'm looking forward to Season 3 because it looks like we're going to have some big tie-ins to the first standalone Star Wars movie, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Um, and that, that, that that's going to be a great great season. We don't know if it's going to be past season 3, but I'm looking forward to it for sure. So what did you think of the video guys? Did you agree? Disagree? Will you continue the discussion in the comment section below? And hit that thumbs up if you like the video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel where you find other videos such as my thoughts on the Star Wars Rebels Season 2 finale. You can follow me on Twitter at StarRaptor and like my Facebook page at StarRaptor. Thanks for watching guys and bye bye.